Mm. Coffee. Life. Yum. Welcome back to my channel. It's Anya with Interior Design Hub. Today we are going over commercial furniture. Hi guys, we're back. Still stuck at home, but hopefully by the time this video plays, maybe we'll be allowed out. So something a little different, um, probably some stuff you've either heard of or you haven't heard of. It's stuff that I specifically selected that could actually been, be used in residential, although it is commercial furniture. They're just some of my absolute favorite pieces that I wanted to share with you guys from some of my absolute favorite companies. And like, I have a million companies that I actually really, really like, but I deal with commercial grade furniture so much every single day. And I just felt like Sometimes when you see images like the Google showrooms or whatever, and you just are like, oh, that's so cool. Like, where did that stuff come from? So this is where some of that stuff come from. So I'm gonna go over a few different companies and I'm gonna start with just letting you guys know that these are companies I work with a lot, um, but I'm not sponsored. Like I'm not, this is a channel I'm starting for fun while, um, we're kind of stuck inside and I can't do all the creative things that I love to do every day. So these are legit just my personal feelings about these companies and about these products. There's like nothing. I'm not trying to sell them. These are commercial grade products. The items I'm going to link below so that you guys can, you know, go and check it out and then look at all their other stuff. They got so many cool things. You'll probably find, um, something you love. There's this whole movement in the commercial furniture world. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm going to say it, the word. Oh my God. Okay. 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 I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I hate this friggin' word. The movement is called resumercial. Like, honestly, the ugliest word you ever did here. I don't know why they call it that. Like, couldn't you come up with like Commercial interiors with a residential flair. I don't know, like use a marketing person, Resi Marshall. That's awful. Like that's the worst word. Anyways, to all my commercial people out there that might be watching this, that word sucks. Anyways, so there's a whole movement with more of a residential feel for commercial furniture. So I'm gonna show some of those things just for you guys. All right, so the companies I'm gonna cover today, um, just to give you a little heads up if you wanna kind of start, you know, checking it out. So we're going to go over Hayworth, um, some of their, well, one of their lounge pieces that I absolutely love. I'm going to show you my favorite couch from Scandinavian contract furniture. I'm going to show you, um, Bel Air's London collection, which is one of my, um, favorite tables that I use. And actually I've thought about using it at home too. Um, and then we're going to go into Froby, which is this awesome UK company, and they have some really fun, uh, phone booths and different things. So let's start with the Archibald. This chair is, oh, it's like sitting in a bubble of heaven. Like I, I have very rarely sat in a commercial chair that feels as good as the Hayworth Archibald chair. This chair is designed, okay, I'm going to try to say this correctly. So it's the Poltrona Frau collection. Basically, it's expensive. I know. Sorry. I'm telling you what I love. I'm not telling you what I can afford. Okay. It's designed by Jean-Marie Massoud, and I'm going to probably screw that up, and I apologize. I'm trying. Um, so, okay. So this chair, it kind of looks funny when you see it in the image, and because we're all shut in, I would love to, like, go somewhere and actually show you the chair and do, like, a almost like a haul video, except just with furniture because I would actually really enjoy that. That being said, so I'm going to show you as many kind of like images as I can to get a good feel of it. But like you sink into this chair and it just kind of envelops you. And it's just this buttery soft leather that's just to die for. Like, honestly, it's one of my favorite pieces. It's one of those pieces when I first saw it, I kind of went, eh, okay, it's, it's whatever. And then I sat in it and I was like, oh my God, this is heaven. <laughs> this chair is so comfortable. I have never, I don't think since this chair, sat in a, a, um, a commercial lounge piece that's this comfortable. It's just, 
it's just something about it. It's very, very well designed. They have a higher back, a lower back. They've got a bunch of different options. They even have like a little ottoman that goes with it. So why this could work in a residential space and where I think you could use this in a residential space is a seating area, say uh, by a fireplace. Like if you have like a nice little kind of what do I do here? Two of those chairs, oh my gosh, would look awesome. If you had an office, you could actually use those as your guest chairs or use them as a side chair, even if you just used one, like with the ottoman. Kind of like that Eames chair look, which most people do know about. I think that would be like, this Archibald chair would look really good in that same type of setting. But so anyways, that's where I'd probably use it. Or even like if you have a nice big foyer, you could put one in there. Like there's so many spaces where when you just need like that beautiful piece or that one chair, maybe where you can like sit down for a second or sit down and read a book. Like this is one of those chairs that I would say has so many per like places that you could use it in a residential setting and it would totally fit in. And it just has that super luxurious, it's, I mean, it's not a cheap chair by any means. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's a cheap chair cause that would be doing it like just, it wouldn't be fair to you guys. To Hayworth has just a ton of beautiful items. Other chairs and other furniture, like their tulip chair is really iconic. A lot of people know about that one. Um, oh yes, I'm gonna show you guys a picture of it. Um, they have this really beautiful, I don't, I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable chair. There's a chair called the low pad chair and it's just, it's so beautiful. If you really like that modern, minimalist, like just beautiful clean lines, I'll show you a picture of where I've used it in the space as well as the image from the Hayworth website of this chair in red. Oh my God, it's just, it's an absolutely stunning chair. And like I said, it is not a comfort chair, it is a showpiece chair. So Scandinavian Spaces. Oh, I fell in love with this company 2017. <laughs> I know I remember that, but the reason I remember it is I was at Neocon. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, I'll put a link just what Neocon is. It's a commercial interior design show that they hold in Chicago. <gasps> so much fun, so much beautiful stuff. And it basically gives us, um, a, a introduction to what they're doing like for the whole year it's like their launch pad so anyways it is an amazing show to go to it's like the de interior design mecca i guess you could say like we just we all flock there once a year this year it's unfortunately canceled i'm really disappointed i was really really excited to go this year but i'm going next year so it is what it is that being said scandinavian spaces I had never heard of this company until I went to Neocon and the minute I walked into their booth, I might actually include a couple photos from when I was at Neocon that year. I was just like, this is like amazing. It's that Scandinavian feeling, but still with warmth. Like it doesn't feel cold or just all one color. Like it was actually one of the most colorful booths that I went to, which was really, really awesome. And in it, they had this huge serpentine sofa and it's called Bob. And they're like, have a seat on Bob. <laughs> I was like, I don't mind if I do. So Bob, the sofa, <laughs> it obviously could be used. It's a commercial piece, but this can totally be used in residential. Like I would picture using this if you had like a big loft type of a space. Oh my gosh, this would look amazing. Like I'm picturing like a New York loft, like with the big windows and 12 foot ceilings. And you know that old, I might try to find a picture of something like what I'm thinking. And you have this huge, like yellow serpentine, beautiful Bob in your living room space. I love the name. I make me giggle. Okay. So anyways, that's where I think Bob would fit, but Bob could fit in any room. Like I could do Bob in my living room, let's be honest, because they have a bob for everybody. Scandinavian Spaces has made a bob for every person. <laughs> I'm enjoying this too much. Okay. So bob. So they have like L-shaped chairs. They have like the serpentine one. And it's just got this really cool look, as you'll see. It's very unique. And it's actually quite comfortable. I was really surprised by it. So this is one of those things where um, they've designed a couch that yes, could a doctor or a lawyer or a um, design firm or whatever type of office space, put one of these in and it will hold up to the traffic of, of people coming into the space hundred percent. But what I love about this piece is that you can use it in your house. Like you don't have to be in commercial furniture to buy this stuff. Like this 
can this is truly that complement of residential and commercial coming together and creating these absolutely beautiful designs. Now I should actually touch on this was created by Stefan Borsilius and Thomas Bernstrand. Something like that. I just want to make sure I give credit because whoever came up with this design, I mean, it's just a beautiful piece. And I'll be honest with you. So I saw this in 2017. And when I went to Neocon last year, there was a lot of really big manufacturer names that had come up with something similar. Mm -hmm. So people steal crap from each other all the time, just saying. But they were the ones that I saw that had it first. I don't know if they stole it from somebody first <laughs> or if they were the first to come up with it and other people have just been stealing it from them, but I have seen a lot more of this style. So I don't know, but I love theirs and their whole, their whole space, their whole style. There's just a million things that this company offered that I just love. Okay. Next. Next, we're coming to Canada. Like we're traveling around the world. We're going from USA. We're going to Scandinavian, which is, I don't know, Swedish or something. Where the heck are these guys from? I looked on their website. I have no idea where they're actually from. If they're Swedish or Norway or Denmark or whatever, but maybe they're just influenced by that design. Whatever, we're going around the world here. We're in Canada now, yay. Okay, this company is probably, it's definitely not a company that, um, I would say a majority of people have heard of. It's a very small company. However, they have a collection that I use a ton of, and I'm gonna show a bunch of images of my own designs that I've done that I've actually used this in. Now this I've used in commercial spaces, but I would honestly do a table for your own residence, like a, a dining table from them. Like it's just, their pieces are solid. Like this is a beautiful collection. So it's called the London Collection from Bel Air. Bel Air is based in London, Ontario. So <laughs> London collection, London, Ontario. I just like totally figured that out. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Okay, so they have these tables called Element. I have used these so much. Like I honestly should have shares in this company. I use these tables so much. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, I know I'm like scrolling here, but I'm gonna show you these tables. So what I love about this table is it's got that, um, super on trend rustic um top like that it's all weathered like they actually have so i've been to their their space and actually got to see how they put these together and they actually have like i think if you're having a bad day <laughs> you get to go beat up wood so they have hammers and chains and they have different things to like basically beat up the wood that to make it look really really weathered and then they have this whole technique for how they like make the edges all raw and like have that feeling. But what I love about these is it's not actually raw wood in the sense of like, it's not gonna catch on your clothing. So what I like about that, and like I love raw edge wood, don't get me wrong. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I just, I love that aesthetic, but like if you're sitting at a dining room table and you're it's catching on your clothes, that's not really a good thing. So what I like about this is they've done like that detail like by hand on the edging to make it look a little bit more rustic and authentic, but it's all done in a factory. Everything's been smoothed out. There's no sharp corners and they varnish it or I'm not, I like don't make furniture. So I think they varnish it or whatever they do, but they basically put like a super good layer to protect the wood itself. And then you can have it in a couple different stains that they offer. So like a darker wood or a mid-tone. And I did a 20 foot harvest table plus like 30 different size square tables in a cafe that I did. It's done about a year and a half ago, maybe almost two years even. And I've been in since and they've really held up and it's still, because it's got that authentic, like old roughed up look, even with the few minor nicks and stuff that just inevitably happened from people using the space, it's actually just looks the exact same as when we put them in, which is awesome. It's one of those tables that Totally can use it in residence, although it's a commercial piece. And again, I'm going to link it below. They're not as well known, but if you're in Canada, um, check out Bel Air. They're based out of London, Ontario. They do a really fantastic job. And the owner, he's a really nice guy. So he'll probably help you out. All right, we're moving to the UK for one of my next favorite products. Okay, so 
Frovi Fro is this company based out of the UK that I have actually purchased some of their um, seeding, which is, I mean, it's all, all their stuff is stunning. Like all these companies, most of their stuff is super stunning. They, they have a ton of different things. Like I was just going through their website because I think they've just done a product launch and there's just a whole bunch of cool things. So I kind of got a little distracted, I'm not going to lie. That being said, the, the product that I'm actually going to talk about probably isn't so much residential ish, but I do have a couple ideas of how you could probably use it, but they're just so fun. I've never had an opportunity to use it. I have used their chairs and different things and their lounge furniture pieces and they're beautiful. And I'll probably um, try to add a couple images of some of the stuff I actually have used that I really like by them, but they're boots. Okay. I have yet to have found, and every company, even Scandinavian Spaces, who I really, really love, makes awesome boots. And everybody has these boots. And it's a huge thing that you're seeing right now. Like when you see those images of um, Google head office, they generally show booths, probably custom made for them. But that being said, lots of people are getting into the booth game. So it's nothing that's new or different or like totally out there, but they just have like, there's one called Huddle Beach Hut. <laughs> it's just so cute. They're just so unique. And then they have the Jig Shed and the Huddle Shed and the Huddle Rustic Shed. And they're just, they're silly and they're fun and they're different. I haven't seen really anybody else that had ones that really looked like this. And I just thought, oh, these are so cute. And they're, they're obviously, they're more designed for like that open office where you need that little collab space it's a side that helps like kind of delineate space because we get into now a lot of really open floor plates so we're seeing a big movement of trying to break up the space create little like kind of places where people can meet can sit get away can have some privacy and help with sound so that's where these booths have really started the trend and then we get into like full closed phone booths there's a whole thing about it which I mean if you guys want me to talk about that you know let, let me know. I'll go into a whole bunch of them. But this one in particular, I was thinking, how could you use this in a house? Because this is kind of, I'm trying to make sure that I tie this to both. These are my favorite things that I love. This one, I actually was thinking if you had like a playroom or a kid's space or like a rec room area, this could be just a lot of fun. So I was thinking like my son's young, like the huddle, the huddle beach hut. Now, I don't know if you have to buy the furniture pieces or if you could just buy the hut, but it would be super cute if you could just buy like the actual um, structure part itself and then put your own little furniture in it. Like even if it's just from Ikea, just to, there, I hope nobody from Frovi watches this. <laughs> They'll be like, oh my God. Anyways, but you know, just for like cost savings. But if you're able to kind of afford it and it's it could be just something really fun, but I guess this one is definitely a little bit more of the commercial side of things, but it's one of those fun pieces that I had to share because I just, I just really like it. I think it's really, really pretty. Now they do also have, and again, this is like totally not for residential, but I have to share it with you because I just saw it and I went, oh my gosh, it's called Colony, I believe. So they have this new one. It's just wild and you have to look at it. I'm going to put the link below. Frovi Colony, endless configurations, freestanding with option to floor fixing for indoor use only. These are cool. I wish they could be for outside. This would be amazing for like an outdoor patio, but it's not just FYI, it's not for outside. Um, okay, but they're like, they kind of take this like separating office space area like to a whole new level, but I really like the panels and it looks like, yeah. I'm going to show you this picture. So these panels look like they're actually a, um, they actually look like they're like an easable material to help with some of the sound. So anyways, totally random side thought, discovered it. That's the problem with going through this. I mean, I just love, I actually really do love furniture. <laughs> All right, guys. So little different video today. I just wanted to go over some of the beautiful furniture that's available there. It's kind of like a haul video, I guess, except for commercial furniture. And I wanted to show you guys that commercial furniture isn't just for commercial use. You can actually take commercial furniture, which is really great quality and 
use it in your residence and how could you put it in your residence and where would it work in your residence? And yeah, it's not necessarily the cheapest furniture in the world. Sometimes it's worth it to invest a little bit of money into some quality pieces. And now might not be the time, particularly in with everything that's going on in the world, but eventually, hopefully things will get back to normal. So these are just some ideas for you guys, even if it's just for some online perusing and some, you know, put it on your vision board for 2021. I don't know. It's just some fun things that I miss searching for furniture, I think, because I, I think I just miss designing some of my commercial spaces. So if you guys are liking the content that I'm providing for you, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I have a goal of trying to get a thousand subscribers in the next few months. So if you could help a girl out, that'd be great. Um, and if you guys like this content, please comment below. Let me know if you want to hear more about this kind of stuff or less, or if there's a specific design area, whether it's commercial or residential that you have a question, please let me know. And that's everything for today. So until next time, guys, it's been Anya with Interior Design Hub. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you.